And that's what you're all supposed to realize. You're supposed to testify. Pastor Matthew Prince, you're supposed to testify because that's part of your healing. When you speak those things that be not as though they were, it strengthens you. It, it, it stops the devil from bringing you back. But when you testify, you refuse to go back. Because it stops the devil from bringing you back. It stops Satan from, from trying to destroy you. Because that's what the devil is trying to do. Erase you from knowing your path. Erase you from knowing what you've been through so that he can put you through it again. Because that's what that devil will do. Put you through the same storm. Put you through the same mountain. Put you through the same valley. All because you didn't remember God. And you didn't praise him and testify in the congregation and in the assembly. Because even that's what David would do. That's said when his son, when he knew that first son that he had with Bathsheba was going to die, he went. He first wept, wept till the child died. Then he got up and ate, and he went into the tabernacle and began praising God and thanking God. And so he went through it, but David never went through that again because he remembered where the Lord brought him from. He remembered to praise him. He remembered to testify and to write down what he'd been through. And that's what you got to do. You got to remember your testimony and add to your testimony. Because when you remember your testimony, that keeps you free. That keeps you healed. Because when you remember, you remember how you was brought out. Say, oh, if God did this way, oh, maybe if I go back and call on his name and cry out to him. Maybe if I go back and speak his word. Maybe if I go back and speak the word of God and do it this way. And maybe if I bind and rebuke. Maybe if I anoint myself put the cross on my forehead and begin to speak in tongues. Maybe if I do this, see the Spirit of the Lord will remind you of what you've been through. If you praise him and give him the glory and ask God and begin to pray with him and to praise him and to commune with God daily. I said the Lord will begin to speak to you and he'll begin to tell you how to overcome. He'll remind you of those things. Because that's what he said. Jesus said you don't so when the spirit the Holy Spirit come upon you, you don't have to know what to say. You don't have to know what to say or what to do. He will tell you what to say. And that's why he's called wonderful counselor. He will tell you what to say. He'll tell you what to do. And that's what the apostles were doing, remembering their testimony and writing it down and telling the people and reminding the people what they've been through. And the Bible is full of testimony and reminding us of how to praise God and how to pray to him and reminding us of what holy people went through, holy men and holy women. And that's what you are. You're not in what you're in to be alone. You're not there to be alone. You're there because God has a reason. You can set other people free. You can set tens of people free, hundreds of people, millions of people free. All because of your testimony. All because you're remembering God and you're praising them and praying to them. What prayers of thanksgiving. What praise of thanksgiving. What prayers of peace. What praise of peace. What prayers of, wors of worshiping him. And praise of worshiping him. And I said, that's what you ought to do. Now, this a, most people think you ought to pray when you're struggling and do this them, and pray about the struggle. You're also supposed to pray in Thanksgiving. And you're supposed to praise in Thanksgiving. You're supposed to say, thank you, Lord, for bringing me through this. Thank you, Lord, for seeing me through this. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from this. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from that. Even if your prayer is all absorbed up with praise of God, that's okay. Because that's freeing you. That's breaking that spirit of bondage that the enemy is putting on you. That's because the enemy going to want to put a spirit of doubt. He going to want to put doubt, fear, and worry, and he going to keep doing that combination because that's what he feel like. As long as he keep willing you back in, that's what he going to keep doing. And you got to remember the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. And Revelation tells how? By the word. See, the word of God in our testimony, his blood, Jesus' blood, that is upon us. If we begin to believe it and we begin to call upon it, Jesus' blood gives us that anointing. And it's the word of their testimony. That means by our testifying and speaking the word of God, that's how we overcome. That's how the saints overcome. It's by the blood of the Lamb. That's where we get our anointing, our calling, our appointment. That's where we were born again. And we get our power. And when, when we begin to speak, the word of God, the word of his testimony, begin to stand on our testimony and speak the word of God. That's when we can break that devil. 
That's when we can break that spirit of bondage, that spirit of infirmity, that spirit of affliction. That's when we can overcome it. I just been delivered and I ain't going back. I gave God my life down on my knees. On my knees I stay forever cause I found salvation. God be exalted. God be exalted. His his abounding love overflows in the depths of my soul. I'll testify. Jesus be glorified. I'll testify. God, God be exalted. His abounding love overflows in the depths of my soul. I'll testify. Jesus be glorified. 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 I'll testify. Be glorified in my life. I'll testify. Be glorified in my heart. Then I'll testify. Be glorified today. I'll testify. I tell survive. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing me out. Hallelujah. Thank you for healing my mind. Hallelujah. Thank you for healing my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell survive. I tell survive. Jesus be glory. Revive.